Thick Jungle. This is one of the most RNG-based levels in the game. RNG means random number generation. It just means luck, pretty much. So, this is the tutorial of the level, okay? So this is the... This is the, uh, I don't even know what it's called, Monkey Radar. Now, at the beginning, even before you touch the ground, you're gonna s do a circle so that you can see if they're all on one side, and if they're not, then that means you didn't get the best RNG. Now, you're gonna run slightly to the right here, and then you, by now, you should already know where all the monkeys are. Like, I'm pretty sure I know where all the monkeys are. So, if the, there's one right at this box right here, which there is, for us, then you want to stay along this side and you would jump to get over that mailbox. And then you would get this guy, and then this one you just pretty much play by ear. I got really bad luck though, so I'm just gonna finish this. Ah! Things are showing us Yes, Pop Man, I know that there's no mouse showing. That's because, uh, I don't want to show you anything right now. <laughs> so there's a lot of cutscenes here. This is probably the most cutscenes in a row in the game. It's like 13 seconds of just waiting, maybe more than that. I don't really know, I haven't timed it. Now, at the beginning of this level, you're going to immediately switch to the stun club, and then hold left on the D-pad to put the camera that way to reduce lag. Run there. Now you're going to hit this pitcher plant right here with the stun club, then immediately switch out to the net and switch back to the stun club. So, boom, like that. Now this bee can be annoying, and if you miss that monkey, you can just jump over this guy usually. I'm being safe right now to show you guys things. That's not what's supposed to happen, but that's fine. So now this monkey is always going to be in this plant. Sometimes he will spawn over here, and you'll just have to go chase him, but uh, usually he's in this pe plant, and he will always jump right here in this direction, and then he will always run here, and then just run in that direction. So hit him, and then net, and then immediately switch gadgets like always. Now there's a slightly faster thing you can do here than just jumping in the water and uh, going through that gate. You can jump from around here and you can slide into the water giving you a slight boost. So I'm gonna try that, see if I can get it. Alright, I didn't get it, so that's what usually happens. So here, this is just UFO list. Yeah, so I'm gonna try this a few times to show you guys what to do. Now, when you're, when you're going uh, into this room, after you've entered the room, there's a few things I'm doing. I'm holding the left analog stick a little bit forward, and then you want to end up like as far to the right as possible. That would have gotten it if I wouldn't have ledge grabbed. So, let me real quick try that one more time just to see if I can get it to show you how to catch him. It's not that complicated, you just jump on him and catch, but I'll show you just in case. Okay, one more attempt. UFO list is a pretty inconsistent trick in this game. Saves around 10 seconds. Alright, so next you're gonna double jump up here. Then now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna run approximately this far up the slope. And then you're gonna turn to the right and double jump up the, sl up the slope. Just like that. So now the these are the boulders. These things are super annoying. You can do whatever you want here, just don't get hit by boulders. If you have to, just stop. Now here you're gonna double jump and just smack that monkey with the, uh, with the stun club. Now usually, if you don't get UFO list, you can pretty much always stand dead center, double jump, and then hit him. And then he will pretty much always fall down. If you do get UFO list, you should usually stand around here, if you get a perfect UFO list. Now, just go and avoid the boulders. Here, you can just run here, neutral double jump off, and then jump over here. Start moving immediately to the left once you enter this room and switch the camera as early as possible. Single jump over this tent and catch this monkey. Not too hard. Then you can do whatever you want here, just get over to this area. You can jump. Now this monkey has random spawn point. 
What I got was really bad luck because he ended up shooting me. Now don't jump here, just fall into the water because that gives you a good angle to do that. And then just single jump out. Now this monkey just runs straight and catch him. Finish off the level. That's the thick jungle. <clears throat> yeah, Pop Man, sometimes I'm just pausing so that I can uh, say stuff while you guys are just like while the game isn't playing, so. So the next level is Dark Ruins. This level has three things that can go wrong in the whole level, pretty much. The first thing is the first monkey. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna immediately switch to the stun club, and then turn this direction and start crawling around this line. Now stay along this line on the ground until you get to around here, and switch to the net, then get up, single jump, and catch him, switch to the thing. Now that was a lot that just happened there. Now here you can either neutral double jump over that, or you can just run along this bridge, but the safest way to do it if you're not good at neutral double jumps is you can just normal double jump off of that. Now if you're not good at neutral double jumps, just jump onto this bridge. If you are good at neutral double jumps, you can jump from anywhere from here to like here and make this jump across. It's a very hard neutral double jump, though. It's one of the harder ones in the game. Now hold left on the D-pad to switch the camera to reduce lag. Switch the net and go in here. Now run straight at this corner here and switch the camera this way by holding left on the D-pad, then hold up on the D-pad to reduce some lag. Now this monkey can do whatever he wants, just follow him and catch him, not too complicated. Now what can happen here is these pur this purple guy, he can sometimes spawn right here. If he spawns right here, it's not worth it to take the hit, just hit him with the stun club and then keep going. Neutral double jump over this. <clears throat> Keep the stun club out because you might need to hit some birds coming up. Now there are two routes for this. One route, you would go forward this way and you would catch that monkey and then you would do whatever I'm about to show you after this. Now here, this is the safe route. Now you want it. That's only possible with a very good neutral level jump. Now catch him and fall off and kill yourself. Then, immediately start heading this direction, and catch this guy. Alright, so if you don't want to go for the backup strat, which is what I just did, where you catch the monkey, uh, then you can go this way. Now I'm pretending that I didn't catch that backup monkey, alright? And you can catch this monkey. Now this monkey is called Windy. He's very inconsistent and terrible to play with. So, I'm not even going to show him that, because no new runners who would be watching this should ever do that. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to... I'll go back. So, you would be here, running this direction. Now you're going to hold left on the D-pad so that the camera's better. And you're going to double jump up here. And I'm swinging the net to instantly change my direction. And then you can just climb those, get up here and catch this guy. And you're going to fall. You don't need to cancel fall damage here. And, uh, I forgot to explain it, but to cancel fall damage, you just swing the net or the stun club. So that is Dark Ruins. It's a very easy level. It's one of the easier levels in the game, but there are a few things that can go wrong in it that can make it terrible. Now, if you miss the first monkey... It's pretty much a reset. I wouldn't really continue. If it's like your first run and you don't want to reset, you can attempt to catch him. There's no really consistent way to do it. Now this is Cryptic Relics. This is where the game starts really breaking. So this is the slingshot. Now the slingshot has a great glitch along with it. It's called the infinite jump. Now how I'm doing this is I'm just... I'm not going to give a full in-depth tutorial of this, but really it's just, I'm just barely pulling back the slingshot, like, kind of just tapping the analog stick. But I'm jump-tap, 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 alright? So, 
once you have the infinite jump down, I would go watch Mark Hest's tutorial on the infinite jump to get better at it. Along with the boost jump, which will come in later, I'm not going to explain that. You can just go watch Mark Hest's tutorial on that. So, immediately run this way, five infinite jumps, then jump over here. Then, once this thing gets into sight, six infinite jumps, five, six, single jump, and you'll fall here. I wasn't supposed to do that. I was a little bit off. And you'll just go in here. Very easy tutorial. Should take about 43 seconds if you do it very well. 42 if you do it perfectly. Now here you're going to press select, left, square, select. And you're going to do that as fast as you can to put that on there. I hold up on the D-pad. Pretend that didn't happen. I hold up on the D-pad at the beginning to get the camera in a better position. And then 9 infinite jumps. 6, 7, 8, 9, single jump or double jump if you're not quite as good then immediately switch alright come on so you would catch this monkey and then you can either immediately go up here and do three infinite jumps then a double jump to get up there or what some people do is they run around here and then do a double jump up there either way is fine so this is the ill catch this is the killer of many runs so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna jump and get close to this edge and you're gonna Keep getting closer to the edge until your shadow disappears. Now you're going to ledge grab. Once you ledge grab, you're going to tap back on the left analog stick. And then you're going to swing your net forward and kind of jiggle it a little bit to catch the monkey. Then turn around, and you can just go over here, hit the button, and then go in here. Now I'm going to do something here which is called no scope. Now, you, if you pull back the slingshot at the top of this thing, it'll give you a good height to do that. If you don't want to, you can just come down here, boom, whatever. The monkey will be, this monkey has a random spawn point, pretty much just go and hit him, whatever, doesn't really matter. Alright, so for this bird, you're gonna wanna just run to his left, smack him, smack this thing once, and he will always give you an explosive, sometimes he'll give you two doesn't really matter. That guy, just hit him and catch him. Not that big a deal. Same thing here. One hit, and then gadget switch. Now here, once you enter this room, you have 11 seconds until the finish. Four infinite jumps, single jump. Or you can do three infinite jumps and a double jump. Doesn't really matter. If you go to neutral double jumps, go ahead. Do the three and two. That is the end of Dark Roads. I mean, Cryptic Relics. Now, this is a Jake attack. You don't have to do them. You can just skip them. So once it counts down, start. That was a frame-perfect start. And then exit, yes. Not that big a deal.